Hi everyone, this is The Movie Project, and you are going to get um, a series of movies. This one is only going to explain the setup for the movie. Here is the um, first day handout, which shows The Movie Project, right there, The Movie Poster Project, and it's worth 10 points as we can zoom in and see, okay? So um, what I wanna do is to go through what Sean had written up for this, and I'm just going to leave it because it's fine. And you need to really concentrate on this to get this um, in your portfolio with all the elements. Because when a job is done and finished, you really don't have a chance um, to, as a student, show all the things, the whole thought process, the idea and the concept process. Well, we're going to build it for you and I'm going to show you a bunch of folders that you're going to have in your asset folder and you can just go through them. They're not for your purpose other than just understanding what I did to get my images. Well, I want to show first my poster. Here is the poster that I did. I wanted to make a new Jason Bourne movie. Okay, um, there's been four and the one ended with the legacy and this is now, I mean, I just made up a name, The Born Promise. And the women that were in Jason's life from Marie to Nikki um, were, uh, are going to be the, f the focus. And I believe in my movie, I'm going to, I have said that um, Nikki and Marie, um, I'm sorry, Jason and Nikki actually, um, come together in this movie in my mind <laughs> because um nikki had left and they're going to go after nikki to try to kill her and jason isn't going to let it happen so obviously i said jason's word was more important than his life which means that he had promised her that she's going to be okay so they weren't going after her then now we have the born the whole born supremacy and identity and everything else uh, building into this final movie of The Born Promise. I know that's probably silly, but whatever. So what I have done is this movie is going to not only be about how to get the script down here, I've made it very available to you to get this part in the movie here, but I want to go over to this aspect of it before I show you the font and everything else that I've already gone and gotten for you. You need to give me a 200 word document which isn't very many words, describing what you want. Read this PDF file. It'll be right in the module for um, uh, in Canvas. And now you have to also build me a word cloud. My word cloud would have had things in it like Jason, and I want it to be in Paris. It would have had Nikki. It would have had the promise, okay, which was a big deal for me when he promised Nikki that she would be okay. Um, and then it would have um, all the names of the other movies because obviously they play into everything. Mr. Eric, Colonel Eric Beyer was big in The Born Legacy. He's going to actually be somebody who's going to be in the new movie. And then you need to show a descriptive thumbnail, all right? And then um, the slap comp, he says, is a rough ver version of your poster. Um, you can um, show me your slap comp, which is um, a quick version of the poster, uh, but you can go right to your Photoshop file at, right after your slap comp, okay? Now, what this has in it is an example of what a word cloud is. It also has an example of how you do thumbnails. I'm going to show you my thumbnail, which I didn't do 20. Jay, um, Sean wants you to do 20, so in the thumbnail part right here, you can see that he wants you to create 20 different drawings, all right? So please read this PDF and please deliver the elements in here that you're supposed to give me, which are the summary, the word cloud, the descriptive thumbnail, and a, if you want to, a very quick slap comp of the way it's supposed to look. But you can go right to your finished file if you want to, okay? Um, just send me a preliminary shot of your finished file with your assets in position. You can take a screenshot of it or whatever, and I can give you my critique on it. You don't have to finish the entire Photoshop file and then send it to me so I can give you your critique. I want to know how you're doing in the beginning, and in the beginning is what I'm going to call the slap comp. So now let me minimize that and show you a couple of things that have to do with um, the whole process. So I'm going to bring over the movie poster folder, okay? And then in the movie poster folder, in your asset, you will find 
Brian's images, so I'm going to open them up. This is what I spent hours getting. So I'm going to hit the tilde key, and I'm, I'm sorry, the space bar, and I'm going to show you I wanted to see what the look was of the Bourne posters. I also wanted to get them from other countries, and this is a separate one in the poster aspect. Now, um, here is the images, are the images. Colonel Eric Beyer, there's the one I actually ended up using of him right there. I thought that was a little much. Um, then this is my background element, okay? And I love what I did with the background element, and I love how the way Nikki looks in there, and um, I like how um, Jason and Marie look against that background. But that was, I wanted to set it in Paris, and I wanted a moody scene, okay? So that was my background. Then I went through a whole series of these images, as you can see, and I just made sure that I got the highest res ones I could find, which took me quite a while. I used that image right there, and then I used this image. So there are all my images right there, and I used that image. And um, these are all the images that I had found, and I ended up using that one of Nikki. okay? So I really like the way this looks, but you can see that I have gotten my folder for my images. Now, let me tap this back and let's go back one step. And now I'm going to go into the ones that I actually ended up using. So, whoops, the ones I ended up using are the Brian Poster images. So this is what I actually ended up using. And then I went through a series of cutting out these elements. So you can see how I actually cut out some of these elements, as you can see. And then I show this in the next movie, how I actually go from this to this, okay? Which is the number two movie. Because if you can't cut out these elements out of the background, then why use them in the first place? And you want to get the hair to be very natural. I'm not going to talk about that now. That's in the next movie. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to show you my thumbnail here, which is I've given you a thumbnail sheet, and what I turned mine into was this one. And I'm going to open up my JPEG, which I ended up doing here, and I'm going to zoom into this so we can see this. And then I'm going to go like this. This is what I ended up doing for my quick thumbnail. I wanted a large heroic poster. I wanted Jason and Marie to the right here, as you can see them kissing. I opt, then I put them over here and I wanted the Paris um, Eiffel Tower to be in the center. And then this one I ended up, is the one that I ended up using, okay? Because I liked all of these elements. And even though this looks slightly busy over here to the left, you can see just how that was the poster right there and now this is how this whole thing turned out okay so with that in mind right here with that in mind right over here whoops okay that's not moving over let me move this over let me see if i can move it over this way okay my space bar isn't exactly moving over now okay let me zoom back out and that's okay i don't care so this is how this image turned out here so i'm going to put it over here and then i'm going to show you that that's the way the poster actually turned out all right and i was happy with it i think it's fine um but there is my image and then you can see how in my poster i actually now have all of my elements separated out and there's going to be a final movie to show you how to save the file and retain vector capability, okay? Which means in Photoshop, I don't want this text to turn into raster, okay? The background can, but I don't want the text to turn into raster. So I have in my folder here, I'm putting in my thumbnail, uh, I'm sorry, my final poster PDF, which I'm opening up right now. I'm going to hit Command-0. Now what I want to do is show you in Acrobat, if I zoom into this, look at how that text remains completely vector. So in your portfolio, this is going to look really good. And here is the text down here. As you can see, the text here is actually still maintaining vector capability. See how clean it is no matter how close I get? That is a little neato technique that I'll show you in Photoshop how you can actually save this out and keep it in um, vector for the text. So I'm going to put this on the other file. So what you need to do is to go through my two things. I'm showing a comp folder and I wanted you to see all of these comps here that are what the other people have done 
in laying out their posters. I've given you an ability to either be fancy with your thumbnails or your comps. And then this one is pretty much, um, they spent a lot more time than I did and you would have to spend more time creating a comped up version of your poster for, for your client, all right? Um, but that's why I gave you this comp folder. Now, the other thing that's in here, and I'm gonna find it in a second, is my poster examples. Now in my poster examples, again, I show the born ones, but I also wanted to go get an idea of how other ones were looking. So I, I spent some time and I got you different uh, from Iron Man to Nemo to a whole bunch of other posters, Captain America, I just wanted you to see what those were actually like, okay? Now, um, this is actually one of the students in class. This is what he put together as his final poster for last year, all right? So, um, just wanted you to see what one student had done. And I have another example in here. Oh, thumbnails, that's it, right there. So now here's examples for thumbnails. And I wanted you to see what other people have done in thumbnails to get ready for whether it's a comic version or an ad version or a movie poster version. I, how did he end up getting in there? Whoop, I'm gonna take him out. I don't know how he got in there. That should not be in there. Okay, good, well, he's no longer in there. So here are the ones that I had. Please make use of this stuff, okay? And you can see there's different levels of thumbnails and different levels of how somebody sells their idea to the client. All right, because it doesn't go from the idea process to the finish without having the idea process first. Okay, it's very important. So in your asset folder, I wanted you to go through not only other posters and a comp or a, as Sean calls it, a, let me see if I can find this here, a um, slap comp, all right? But I also want you to do the word cloud. Now, I even found word clouds. Let me hope I find my word clouds. What did I do? Oh, they're right down here. So I went through and found some neat word clouds that you can do. Create this for your portfolio. It's really cool. It takes the ideas. Look at how this is the one for Star Wars. And it takes the ideas. There's Harry Potter. And it lets you see what other people have done in the word clouds, there's Sherlock Holmes. So create something for your movie in a word cloud. Remember, mine would have Jason and Marie and Colonel Eric Byers and Paris. Mine would have all of that. I think that's gorgeous. Now, create this and you have to turn it into me. There's a really cool one of Star Wars. So there's one of Star Trek. So now you can see another one of Star Trek and there's Yoda. So now I'm gonna close this. So you have to give me your summary, your word cloud, 20 descriptive thumbnails, um, eventually your first preliminary grabs from your Photoshop file, and then please create the Photoshop file. Now, inside of here to create the Photoshop file, what I did was I went online and I have my poster dimensions, and I'm gonna bring them over here. The poster dimensions that you're gonna do and it's gonna be at 200 PPI. In fact, I'm gonna put that in here, 200 PPI. So you know that that is a definite. Now this will be in your folder, but 27 by 40 used to be the size of the old posters. They've made it 27 by 41, which now to figure that out in 11 by 17 ratio, if you take 27 and you divide it by 40, you get 0.675. If you take 27 and you divide it by 41, you get um, 0.659. Now, I shouldn't have put times in here. I should have put a divide. Where's my divide? I know there is a divide in here. And I don't remember where it is. I think it's an option here. I think it's gonna be option. Um, that's not a divide, that's an equal. So, I don't know which one it is. I know there is a divide in here and I'm gonna find it. So um, I'm just gonna write in divide. 27 divided by 40 equals 0.675. Now let me go in here and put in 
divided by 41 there and I'll hit command S to save so that gives you a 0.659 now what how do how do you figure out 11 by 17 well if you take um 17 and you multiply it times 0.659 you get 11.25 approximately so our size of our poster is 11.25 by 17 okay so i'm going to go into this click on my photoshop file whoops click on my photoshop file and i'm going to go command option i so you see how i have 11 0.25 by 17 at 200 ppi now I also went to my folder and let me hit command let me hit the F key and expand that back down and then minimize the screen because I wanted you to see my other thing I actually went in to a font site and I downloaded I want you to see what I did and I'll bring it over here I'm gonna click this I'm gonna bring this over to here this is a movie poster font that I have for you. I clicked both of these and I downloaded them. So what I did on my machine was, here is the font right there. It's called Steel Tongs. Now I've given you the font. All you have to do is drop it. If you have a Macintosh, you drop it into your library. So what I'm gonna do is show you here are the fonts that you already have ready for you, okay? and um, I wanted you to see that there was a Photoshop file inside of that which was here. Now all you have to do is open up the Photoshop file after you have installed your fonts in the machine which I'll show you right now and then you can take this layer which I'm turning off and on either in left hand flush or in center and take it right hand click and duplicate that to your movie poster okay and then you can use this just like I used it. Now how do you get the font to be in your machine? You go in a Macintosh on your machine at home and if it's at school you'll have to get the aid of somebody else at school to help you put it into the fonts folder but I'm gonna double click the Macintosh hard drive. I'm going to go into the users account. I'm gonna open up the users account for the little home folder okay then I have a library inside the users account I'm gonna double click it I'm now gonna go down to fonts and I'm gonna double click it now in here you can see how I have my steel tongs right over here on the bottom now I'm gonna move this over and I'm gonna separate these two folders from each other now all you have to do is go into my fonts folder that's in the asset folder here and here don't un don't take those out of there just grab these two folders and drag them in there that's it now you have placed in the proper fonts so that when you open up the Photoshop file it doesn't tell you you don't have the font now on a PC you can go just um, go Google steel tongs okay it'll be in there anyway steel tongs regular and all they are is a TTF all right which is a true type font so install these fonts on your Macintosh prior to you opening up this file which is right there now you have the fonts in there duplicate it to the proper folder and now here is the final folder so let me hit command tilde and go to my my little guy right there now um, I really want this to be a light gray so we can see it okay now I'm gonna hit the tab key so we can tab that back on there is my poster now what I did was go to the next movie to learn how to cut out these images and your job is to take I'm gonna put this back on your job is to take your thumbnail which I'll take and I will um, hit the F key to put this over here I'll tab myself I'm not doing this very well there I'll tap this off I'll put this over here I'll go back one, one series I'll open up Brian's thumbnail JPEG what I should do is just put it in here put this movie thing over here and now then you have exactly what I want you to have here is my thumbnail and here is my final poster so what I want you to do is to have some fun with this remember your size is 11.25 by 17 
at 200 ppi. I want to see your word cloud. I want to see, let me make sure I have that again. So I'll open that up. Make sure you have your word cloud. Your summary is first. Give me your document. Your word cloud is second. Your descriptive thumbnails are third. Go into Photoshop and start creating your file. I will tell you how when you send me a preliminary quick comp without everything being done, I'll like that. Then tighten up and do all your fancy stuff that you have to do to create the Photoshop file. And then just like this, send me, these are student examples, send me your final PSD file. I want to see the whole PSD file. Okay? Thank you.